Hey guys, Sam from Manfa's Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It is so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So I have decided to do a slightly different video today. There is still crochet content but not yarn or anything that I have made. This is more of a what I do to organize myself a little bit. Now, it is not a perfect system and it is not a complete system either, but this may give you an idea of how you could maybe organize some of the patterns that you purchase. Now, if you are anything like me, you will sometimes go on a pattern purchasing bonanza. Now, I have lots and I mean lots of patterns saved in my phone. And I have still got lots to print off from said phone. However, those that I have got around to printing, I have to organize and put them somewhere, right? So this system still needs to be updated and it still needs to be completed. But I wanted to show you where I've got to so far. Now, not always in my crochet history have I been organised. And it was never really a big deal until I got a channel. But now I have a channel, there is a lot of stuff that I have to keep under, under control and in check, like my stash. Um, and of course, you can buy patterns quicker than you can make them. And it is as simple as that. Now, there is another lovely Yanni on these streets. And if she's watching, she'll know that I am referring to her. She said that there are different elements to what we do in these crochet Yanni knitting fibre art streets of ours. One is buying the tools and gadgets and organisational things that you need in order to do your craft. The other is to buy books and patterns and, you know, all those bits and pieces to make the beautiful things. And of course, there is buying the materials themselves to make those things as well. So there are multifaceted levels to this craft. And we are going to be diving into my pattern organisation today. Now, my house is not big enough for everything that I have in regards to my crochet obsession, but I have got a few bits squirreled away here and there that you don't normally see on a daily basis because actually these patterns live in a different part of my home. But like I said, I have hundreds upon hundreds of patterns that I have either purchased or downloaded for free in my files in my phone. And sometimes I will print off a few and get them organised and then I can take them off my phone to make way for new patterns that I stumble across and purchase or I am gifted. Um, and so the cycle is never ending. Like I said, I didn't always do this. So there are hundreds of patterns that you will not see in my filing system today that I have made um, in the past because I haven't always done this. In fact, I took the time to do this at some point last year. So it is a fairly recent thing. So yes, hundreds of patterns still to print and hundreds of patterns um, that you will never get to see because it was before I had my channel, just to keep that in mind. Um, there will be hundreds of patterns in the future for you to see though, I can guarantee it. Now, you know I do my segments on my channel uh, with book looks and label my library. I have also done a little mini series of a folder of vintage patterns that I've got. But today I am focusing on those printable patterns because I do label my library and book looks for the books. We did the whole magazine Monday thing with the magazines. We've done the vintage folder and now it is time for the printed patterns to get their time to shine. So like I said, occasionally I will go into the files on my phone and I will print off a few of the patterns I have saved there to free up some memory and space in my phone and to fill the folders that I have got ready and waiting to house them. So the way I have done it 
is I currently have four folders, two of which are for what I call general crochet, and it can be anything from uh, amigurumi, wearables, you name it, there's a section for it. And then two folders specifically for mosaic crochet. Now I have done a little bit of mosaic crochet in the past, and it is one of my 24 goals for 2024 to do a little bit more. I still haven't got to that point yet, but I intend to, and there is still eight months of the year in order to do it. So they have folders of their own because there is one mosaic lady here on the YouTube streets that I particularly love her designs and all, it, well, most if not all of those patterns are by that particular designer and we will get to that towards the end of this video. Now I don't want this video to be too super long but it may be a bit lengthy so if you want to pause, grab a project, a snack and a drink, I completely understand and I will see you when you get back. So let's start with the crochet generic folders. Okay, so I'm going to show you the folder of things that I have made from the point of setting these folders up. Okay, like I said, there are many more patterns that are not in here, but this is what I have in the folder so far. So I have these lever arch files. And as you can see, I have labeled it crochet patterns I have made. And you can also see that they have been organized into categories. So I'm going to open it up for you. And on that front page, I have listed the different sections in this folder. Section one is mandala patterns, including doilies. Section two is shawl patterns, including capes, wraps and cover ups. Section three is blanket patterns. Section four is sweater jumper vest patterns, including ponchos. Section five is amigurumi patterns. Section six is bathroom and kitchen patterns. Section seven is decor patterns. Section eight is hats, cowls, scarves, gloves patterns. Section nine is home decor patterns. And section 10 is bag patterns. So we are just going to take a little flip through. And like I said, these are the ones that I have made already. Some of them you might recognize and some of them you're like, hey, I didn't see that. And it was probably before I started the channel. So I've got the Crochet Easy Mandala. This is a design by OM Granny Square here on YouTube. There it is. So I have made that one. Then we, that's it for mandalas. <laughs> we move on to section two. And I, of course, have Obsessive Crochet Ladies Feeling Fancy Shawl pattern. I have the Bella Vita shawl that we did as the three in glasses cow. There is the red velvet rose pattern that we did as part of a collaboration in my first year here on YouTube. I have Coco's Pastel Paradise Lacy Wrap. Again, I did that in my first year here on YouTube. I then have the Count My Blessing Shawl by OM Granny Square here on YouTube. And I actually made this one as a hug for Yanni Fairy Godmother. Don't know if you knew about that. Section three, we have the Whatchamacallit blanket by Hooked on Sunshine. And I made that one for my lovely Nan's 80th birthday back last year, I believe. I also have the Spin Me Round the Granny pattern by Obsessive Crochet Lady. I have the Two Colour Granny Square blanket by Olga Poltava, which was my Yanni Fairy Godmother memento blanket. Then in the next section, section four, we have this poncho here. This never featured on my channel. I made it prior to my channel and it was a commission piece for one of my lovely friends in the real world. There is my ugly Christmas sweater vest that was featured on the channel and you know that I wear it every Christmas and I added some jingly bells to that one. Then we have the Granny Pullover, which is a free pattern from Premier, and it is the pattern that Cinnamon Stitches did a tutorial on, and I wear that jumper quite a bit, or sweater quite a bit on the channel. I made it out of sparkly rainbow yarn. 
in the next section we have Sunny the Happy Hen. I made that very early on on my channel and it's a pattern by Crystal the Yarny Chicken and Crazy Cat Lady. Sorry if I got that name wrong. Then there is Mr Bean's Teddy Bear. I made that as part of Amigurumi Wars and now lives with Max. I'm just thinking maybe we should lower this a little bit. That's better. Then there is the bunny with the carrot. Again, this was something that I made for Amigurumi Wars. There is the frontline hero bear that I made during the um, COVID pandemic. Um, and I donated quite a few of these to charity. And also it was the first Amigurumi that I had ever attempted. And Mike got the first one ever made. Okay, here we have a bundle of patterns. There's the dinosaur from the Timu kit that I did feature on the channel. There is also a pattern booklet containing um, a Harry Potter character that I made for a friend's little boy. There is also the pattern booklet behind that for Flemmy the Flamingo that I made here on the channel. And then we get to the seven dwarves now i made this as part of a giveaway and again as part of amigurumi wars it was won by a fabulous yarny supporter who then gifted it on to the lovely crafty moo sarah and these now live with my darling moo and she has shown them on her channel as well here is the kraken that i made for max by crafty intentions I haven't yet made the, yes, I did make the blueberry doll. I made this as part of Amigurumi Wars and it is by the lovely um, Alyssa over at Anaya's Toy Box. Bat Gnome, the very first gnome I ever made. And again, I made it for Amigurumi Wars. Mini Daisy Gnome. I made that as part of Moo's Flower Power Cow. That is the link pattern that I made as a commission for Yarny Fairy Godmother's little boy. There is the pig in a granny square blanket, which I made for my old work colleagues in my previous job last year. Um, here is the little heart cactus that I made as part of Moo's Flower Power Cal as well, and now lives with Cat Mum Crafts, Vicky. Oh, I can't show you the next one. You might have got a sneak peek. But that is something that I've recently made to be gifted and they haven't received it yet. So we're going to swoop over that one. Here is the Tea Rose Spa Set by Sweet Softies that I made for my mum last year. Or was it for Mother's Day? I made it for my mum. Next we have Rainbow Showers. This is a pattern by Cute Crochet Makes. And again, in the COVID pandemic, it was encouraged to put a rainbow in your window for people to spot on their daily walk. And I had several different versions of these hanging in my windows. And I also uh, made a commission one for another friend's little girl. Let's get a closer look at that. A beautiful. Then there is the Mama Killer Doily that I have featured on the channel. That one ended up being a very long-term whip that I completed fairly recently. Then we have the Easy All Sizes Leprechaun Hat by Stringy Ding Ding. That featured on the channel, not this past year, but the year before. Then we have a super adorable donkey hat. That was another commission piece that I did for a friend's little boy for his Christmas nativity. Then we have a 3am Grace Designs um, unicorn cushion, which again I did for a friend's little girl. Another 3am Grace Designs, but this time a Triceratops cushion, and that was made for a friend's little boy. There is the tea bag pattern that I made on the channel. It is a 3am Grace Designs, and I still have it upstairs in a tote somewhere. And that is that for that folder. So hopefully you enjoyed that super quick walk down memory lane of crochet patterns that I have made. And it just is nice sometimes to flip back through and see all of the wonderful things that I have made. And of course, 
Patterns don't have a shelf life, they don't have a sell by date, and you never know, I may want to make more of the same in the future. So I keep them in this folder if I ever want to make them again. So those are the ones that I have made. Now let's move on to the ones that I still have to make and that I have managed to get around to printing. This is crochet patterns to make. It is in the same organisation with the tabs on the side. These folders are heavy, guys. I do apologise. Um, again, they are split into the same sections as before. So we're just going to have a flip through and see what I've got. Now, this first one I have printed off and have had in my pattern collection for quite a while because there is a lovely Yarny friend of mine that mentioned it, that she wanted to make one as well. And I'm holding on to it in case we should ever want to do a collaboration. It is Asteria and it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Cannot wait to make that at some point. In the next section, we have mike's patterns actually he bought this hug pattern here and the one on the reverse as well they are king cole patterns they were future plans of his but you know that he's taken a crochet break at the moment so i don't know when they will get done here is the crochet capelet by sabrina melajuice here on youtube haven't made it yet but fully intend to and it is so cute guys just look at that. I especially love that little rainbow one. So if you like these, go check them out. There is a beach beauty cover up pattern that I was gifted. Still have yet to make. The bearded yarn dudes. I have the triangle Alicia shawl that I still have not made. Another one of theirs, the cluster triangle shawl. Next is the Garden of Roses shawl, again by uh, Crystal, the crazy chicken and yarny cat lady. Sorry, I've said that wrong again. Then we have Maestral. That was gifted to me, I believe, as well. Um, this is the pattern that Jaxi and Mama Swift made for Hugs Are Free. Then we have a pattern from Hobie, the Forest shawl. They're already in waiting. Okay, this is a blanket that I really do want to make someday. It is the Waggle Dance B blanket. I bought this off of Ravelry, I believe. And it is filet crochet honeycomb. And those beautiful bees on the border. How gorgeous is that? I fell in love with it and I had to purchase it, guys. So that will be a future make. Don't know when, but that's okay. Next, I have the Jackie Jump Jumper by Angela Poppywood. This is the crazy poppy lady here on YouTube, and it is a pattern that I intend to make soon. Then we have the Movalo Duster. This pattern was gifted to me. I haven't made that one yet. This is a pattern that was gifted to me by Yarny Cat Crochet Patricia. It is the Flamingo family. It's a Flamingo wearing a duck hat. I mean, what is not to love? So that is a future plan. This pattern I bought when I used to know someone who was obsessed with Pokemon. I am no longer friends with that person, sadly, and it never got made. But you never know. There may be some point in the future a reason to make Vulpix. Who knows? And I paid for it, so it's in the binder. Next, I have some vintage patterns that I purchased because my auntie is a big Winnie the Pooh fan. And um, I'd fully intend to make them, but the instructions are a little bit confusing, so I need a lot of head time and head space to make these. But I have the pattern for Winnie the Pooh. I have the pattern for Piglet. I have the pattern for Tigger. And I have the pattern for Eeyore. Then we go into a section of Diny Gurumi. This is Santa Claus. Christmas crochet make potentially for the future. And I love the look of these guys. Cannot wait. 
Then we have the reindeer sleigh. Reindeer pulling a sleigh of goodies there. Then we have little reindeers as well by the same people. We have Santa Claus extra large. Cannot wait. Same people, but out of the Christmas theme, it is their flamingos. I mean, I had to get it, guys. Back to Christmas, we have the Christmas tree. Cannot wait. Okay, now these I got potentially to use for Amigurumi Wars, but I never got around to them. These are mini dinos, and I believe I got these from Pinterest. They're super cute. Um, I'm not sure what this one is because there is no picture of it. It's a dolphin baby. Oh, no, that's the young. Um, I don't actually know what that one is. Bear with me while I have a little bit of a look and I will let you know. Oh, it's a free crochet snake pattern. Did I not make that? I'm pretty sure I made that. Oh, well, it's staying where it is. Then, and that was for Amigurumi Wars as well, Intentions. Intentions for Amigurumi Wars again with the dumpling kitty. Haven't made those yet. Now, I did have intentions of making this for a beautiful Yarny friend of mine, but another Yarny friend of mine made a different version for her and I didn't want to be a copycat, so that is still in there waiting to be made. Then we have Prince Leaps A Lot by the lovely... Um, Oh no, I've had a mind blank. <sighs> Chronically crocheting. So I still have that one to make. Then there is the strawberry doll, Anaya's toy box. Haven't made that one yet. Oscar the little bat. That was again intended for Amigurumi Wars, but I never got around to it. So that is in there ready and waiting. There is nothing in the next section yet and then nothing in the next section yet then in the next we have a 3am grace designs cow cushion i think you can imagine where i want that one to go and we have a raccoon cushion might be spoiling some future happy mails here guys but you know then there is same designer but a penguin same designer but a panda then we have a gnome giving away all my happy mails here guys uh frankenstein another cow a yoda a chicken a chick And then that is that for that folder. Now, I gave away a lot of my secrets in that last section, but that's okay because they've not actually been made yet. And maybe by the time I get the time to actually make them, they will have forgotten. If not, sneak peek! <laughs> so those are the ones that I have managed to print off my phone, but I haven't yet got around to making. So we're going to clip that folder shut and pop it over there and now we are going to get into the mosaic folders because they needed folders of their own because i went into a bit of a splurge with mosaic patterns and um yeah the folders just aren't big enough for all the patterns in the world guys that's why some of them are still trapped in my phone and have never been printed so we're going to go and do the mosaic crochet patterns I have made because there are very few. Didn't need any of the section organisers in this one. But I did make a couple of mosaic purses. I used this pattern here and they are still in my um, craft corner and they hold some of my um, older hooks that I no longer use and other bits and pieces. I used the mosaic alphabet to make my dad's humorous washcloth, the one with face on one side and arse on the other. 
that was i don't think that was the designer's intention of its use but that's what i used it for and these patterns are by tina thorodotta thorvalda and i'm sorry if i butchered that but all of these patterns are hers so yes the purses the alphabet and that's it although i think when we go through the next one there may be more that i need to put in here because i can think of at least one more pattern that i have done that should be in here maybe i'm not up to date with my own system guys now that wouldn't shock me and then we get to the next heavy one of the mosaic crochet patterns to make and there are lots in here they are all by tinner again i believe and you can find her here on youtube now i have mentioned a lot of youtube channels i am not going to be linking them today i don't think because that will just take far too long but you can go back find the pattern i was referring to and write down the name of that person this is the terrazzo afghan absolutely beautiful stunning will make a gorgeous blanket but i'm a little bit squared out at the minute then we have her mr beanie so this is a um i don't think this is mosaic but because she's a mosaic designer most of all it's just in with her patterns i don't make a lot of hats but i wanted to support her so i purchased it anyway and you never know i may want to make mr beanie one day then we have the havana afghan not a very clear picture but it's gorgeous then we have the indiana afghan and i wonder if i can get closer look at all those gorgeous designs guys beautiful and that is tina herself there we have the thool gorgeous we have the Casablanca Afghan. Beautiful. The Fiesta Cal. So this was a crochet along that she did. But I purchased it after the crochet along was done. But again, it's um, tiles that you sew together. I'm not in the right zone for that at the moment. Then we have the Saga, which again is squares gorgeous but now's not the right time then we have the arabia which she turned into a cushion cover how stunning oopsie sorry about that how stunning is that one guys then we have sirius and i believe again that it's squares oh my goodness gracious i'm so sorry it's nothing professional professional nothing professional about me and my channel but that's okay then we have mosaic stars christmas decorations was the purpose of this purchase just saying then we have the queen cow this again was a crochet along and i didn't do it alongside them but i've got it and i can make it at some point and then there are other options of the queen cow which finish there so lots of different options for that queen cow we then have the jelly bean queen this is not a tinner pattern this is by julia o'callaghan or o'callaghan don't know how you say that but that is gorgeous as well no it is a tinner pattern it's the simple queen it's just in the jelly bean colorway and the colors were put together by julia o'callaghan read the information on the page sam some more of that and then there is frost and i bought that with the intentions of either making a wall hanging or a table runner but i never got around to it so it's still there so there are other mosaic patterns that i have made but they're not in either folder so that's okay i obviously made it before i got to this organization system so those are the folders i currently have things that i have made since i started this and things that i have printed to make since starting this 
but thousands more to go in the folders someday guys i'm gonna need to get like a whole room of bookshelves for these types of folders but that will have to wait a few years because there are lots of people in this house and not enough room so we're going to stick to that for a minute and at some point i do intend to work through those patterns but I also intend to work through my pattern books and my magazines and anywhere else that I've got patterns. So they won't feature as like, I'm going to make one of these so and so and so because I'm currently doing that with the magazines. And I am going to start doing that with my um, books because one of my other goals is... Um, to start making things that I have labelled in my library to make in my pattern books. So there are plans in place, but not enough hours in the day um, to make all the things that we want to make, including the hundreds of patterns that I've still got in this thing right here. So I hope that gave you a little bit of inspiration. Maybe it gave you an idea of how you can store your patterns moving forward. But if you want to just keep them on your computer, your laptop, your phone, whatever it is, and just make them, um, you know, by getting it up on screen, that's fine. But me, I like a written pattern um, that I can physically hold in my hand better rather than looking at a screen. And yes, I will follow tutorials and I love tutorials, but if I can have a written pattern, I will pick one of those over a tutorial any day. Plus... If you're paying for the pattern, it also supports the designers of those patterns as well. So they may appear at some point in the future. Hopefully one of the mosaic ones do, because like I said, that's one of my 24 goals for 2024 to get back into mosaic and do more of it. So hopefully one of those will fe uh, feature in the future. And of course, any others that I make, I will, of course, feature on the channel for you guys as well. So I hope you found it interesting and I hope you found it helpful. And it's just one of the ways that you could make your crafting a little more organised for you. So there we go. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I love making content for you guys. And if there is anything else that you would like to see, just let me know and we will see what we can do. Please do come back tomorrow because I have some happy mail to share with you, which is gorgeous because I've already filmed it. I know what I've got, but you don't. So make sure you come back and see what it is that I, that I have been gifted. But until then, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in. No, yeah, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. You know, it might help if I remember my own outro, but to give you a little insight, I have filmed about five videos today. Samantha's getting a little bit tired. Excuse me for all my mistakes, but it's real. I don't edit. And that is something that most of you guys love and find funny so there you go there's another little chuckle mantha forgot her outro anyway guys i'll see you tomorrow love you loads bye